Well, g'day everyone, and welcome back to another David Maxwell golf video. Today, we're gonna to be here in my home studio, and I'm gonna be talking to you about a rangefinder that's actually been out for a little while, but is it still the best rangefinder on the market? And of course, I'm talking about the Garmin Z82. This bad boy. So the Garmin Z82 has been around for a while, but it's not your typical rangefinder. See, your typical rangefinder we tend to call lasers, as in laser rangefinder, you can laser the pin, you can get the most accurate distances. But the Z82 is not just a laser rangefinder, in fact, it's a whole lot more than that. So the Z82 rangefinder can track your stats, it can also uh, overlay it with a GPS. So it's a GPS rangefinder, which gives you a whole nother dynamic into your standard rangefinders, which I don't believe at the moment anybody else on the market has that as a GPS rangefinder like this one. If there is, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will say that this point of view also comes, I am a Garmin Australia ambassador, so please just bear that in mind. As I'm going through this review, obviously I am a champion of the product when I'm talking about it. But there are a couple of things that I would change and I'm gonna get into those in a minute. So we are gonna head on course as well and I'm gonna run through some of the shots that I was able to um, produce and some of the things that I was able to see using the GPS rangefinder, which I was really, really surprised with. See, I've never done that before. I've never had a GPS rangefinder. I've always either shot it like a laser or I've used the Epic Gen 2 watch, which, I absolutely love and I'm going to have a bit of a head-to-head -head on those two as well in the new year the Epic Gen 2 watch versus the Garmin Z82 rangefinder. Now if you're looking for something that is an all-in-one solution that's easy to keep all of your golf stats, your basic stuff, so your fairways, hit, your greens in regulation, how many putts you've had and what your score is. Okay so we can see here as I go through this shot I'm trying to get the Z82 up to the camera. I'm sorry it's not going to be perfect. I will overlay some screenshots if I have to just to pretty that up a little bit. But we can see as we go through, you can see that I've got 185 meters here to the pin on this par three. Um, the screen is very, very clear. That's one thing I will say. It is extremely clear. It's just that I have it up to the camera lens to try and get this shot. But I have 210 meters to the back. I also have 181, which is gonna land me dead in the bunker. So if I'm downwind, maybe I can play at 180 and then I'm gonna be able to hit the middle of the green. But if there's no wind, then I can comfortably play this at about 185 to 190, knowing that I've got a little bit of room in the back of the green there. Now along with that, the Garmin Z82 also has something called green view. So not only the view that I've just showed you, but it's also got a green view so I can literally put the green up in front of me and see exactly where the front of the green is, the middle of the green, the back of the green, and it gives you a bird's eye view of the shot that you're trying to play and where you're trying to hit the ball. This can be incredibly helpful because what you can do is you can look for the fat part of the green, you can look for the safe side, you don't want to you know, find any runoffs or, or any trouble anywhere. So you can do this, especially on courses that you've never played before using the Z82. The next thing that I love, which is built into the Z82, is the hazards. So the hazards in the water, I can go through, I can look through the GPS and I can actually see, like we're about to show you here, that, oh, okay, if I'm gonna be hitting a driver off the tee, I have a fairway bunker at 258 meters. Um, I need to be able to clear that, which I can. So then it's gonna be safe for me to hit driver over it. If I wanted to lay back, a three wood's probably not the best club because a three wood could go into that bunker and then I'm gonna land myself in trouble. So. Your course management tends to get a lot better. Um, you, you tend to be more confident when you're hitting your shots because not only are you, you scanning the pin all the time, but you can actually use it as a tool to help you with your own course management throughout your game. Another really cool function is that you can go into the scorecard. So you can actually score a scorecard from your GPS rangefinder, which is this still just absolutely blows my mind. Now, you've probably heard a lot of this before, but is it still the best GPS rangefinder on the market? Well, I still don't know anything that's gonna be this easy in terms of going through your menu log, adding your scores on there, and not really having to worry about a whole lot. You just gotta go and play golf, you add your scores on the rest on the end of every hole, and away you go. You've also got things like plays like distance, so if you have it connected to your phone, which has got the Garmin Weather app, it'll show you that it might be 185 meters to the pin, but it actually plays about 165 or 195, or what have you. Then you've got Pinpointer. Pinpointer is another great feature. So if you happen to hit it into the next fairway, you're blocked out by some trees, 
where a, a laser rangefinder normally wouldn't help you all that much, this one actually does because the pinpointer can show you the line that you need to hit the ball on. And I've been there quite a few times where I've used it already. And basically you can hit that line confidently, hit the ball up over the trees and know that you're hitting it somewhat to the right spot and find the green. So with all of that said, the Z82 has a whole lot more functions as well, which you're gonna absolutely love as you get into using this rangefinder. Now, what are some of the downsides to the Z82 that I found, which may be downsides, they may just be little annoyances really, that I think could be done just a little bit better in terms of a, a full honest review of this product. Well, first of all, uh, on the top, the, the rangefinder, they have the on off button as one of the arrow buttons up and down. And I caught myself out a couple of times when I was just getting used to the menu and I held that button down for too long and it actually turned the unit off. And then I had to restart the round again and I had to go back and put my scores back in. Um, so that's something that I would like to see in the next generation is to separate the on off switch from the up and down buttons in the menu log. Obviously I'm used to it now, so it's not that much of a problem. Um, but just initially it, it did turn off a couple of times and I thought that could have been done a little bit better. The next thing is gonna be the case. So this case, is a, is a really, really good case. It's actually a really hard covered case. I do like that, the quality is good. The carabiners are thick. The clips here, if you wanted to clip it onto your belt, are really good quality. There's nothing about the quality that I don't like. Just the design. See this little bag top sort of thing that when you're trying to put your rangefinder back in there, sometimes it can, it can sort of get stuck a little bit trying to put it in because of this bag top or if you're trying to get it out quickly because you've got this tied back up, um, it, it just can be a little bit annoying if it's attached to your bag. I would prefer to see the standard rangefinder cases that we're all used to or a flap that actually goes over, which I think a previous generation had. I think the Z80 actually had that, the strap that goes over the top. Um, I definitely prefer that as opposed to this particular case. So with all that being said, in terms of the actual unit itself, I still don't think that there is anything better on the market that gives you as many features as the Z82 with a GPS overlay. So you can literally see the whole overlay on the screen that you're shooting. It's incredible. Like I said before, it still blows my mind. The technology has advanced so far and I'm, I'm, I realize I'm coming to the party a little late here because this has already been out for a while. Um, but I've just got it and I'm saying to you guys that if you're thinking about a Christmas present or if you're thinking about something that you, you want to snap up quickly for yourself, then make sure you check out the Garmin Z82 range forms because these things are absolutely incredible. So guys, that's it from me today. I hope you liked that. That's my review of the Z82 rangefinder. If you do have any questions, please throw them in the comments section below and I will get back to you. Um, let me know if you get one as well. Put that in the comments or if you've already had one, what's your experience with it? I've had mine for a little while, absolutely love it. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot more in-depth on course review here when I do the Epix Gen 2 Golf watch. It's not just a golf watch, but the golf side of the watch versus the Z82 to see how accurate they are in comparison to each other. And I'll see you guys there when that video comes out. Thanks guys. See you later.